Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Abiola. So today, guys, I've seen this problem going around for people that have been trying to do their ICAS for ICAS evaluation for Canadian PR. If you are here, you, you probably already know the difficulty people have been facing in creating new ICAS applications and being able to submit for payment. You no, know, I had to help a friend with theirs. So I also faced the same challenge, but I was able to find a way around it, guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Let me show you guys how I did it. As you guys can see, I was able to create my application in March and pay on the 9th of March, 2021. So the first step to be able to do that also is go to this website, time and date. You'll be able to look at the exact date and time in Canada, Alberta, or Alberta, Canada, sorry. And it's so much easier to use this website than doing the conversions by yourself because sometimes conversions aren't exactly uh, accurate. But this time, this time and this website will help you know when it exactly is 15 a.m. in Canada. After this, you go to the iCast website. Um, this is my friend's iCast client portal. And just to show you guys, we were able to create an application when we tried using this method. In fact, we created three different applications. We were able to create three applications, although we submitted just one. But it's just to let you guys know it is very possible to be able to create new applications. Currently, though, the problem everybody's facing is that when you click on this create new application and it takes you to to this place where you'll be able to choose whether you want it for ECA purpose or assessment for employment, blah, 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 blah. So when you click on ECA, of course, it shows you that the ICAS daily limit of application has been reached for today. To overcome this problem, the first step that you need to take is step is that you open five different tabs of the iCast website on your phone or your laptop when it's 8 a.m. iCast logs people out um, before 8 a.m. So you can only do this after 8 a.m. You open five different tabs. As you guys can see that I've done here, you open five different tabs of the iCast portal, of your iCast portal. And then you click on creating an application on each of the tabs. And then when you do that, it will take you to your ECA. But I don't want you guys to click on ECA yet. You don't click on the ECA yet. So as you guys can see, that's what I'm doing. I'm clicking on creating application and getting to that ECA stage on each of the tabs, which is what I want you guys to do also. So after you've, after you've clicked on creating applications on each of the tabs, and you've gotten to the ECA stage, the next thing that you have to do, guys, is wait. Don't press anything. Don't click on ECA yet. You just wait patiently, guys. You wait, okay? And then we go to the next stage. This stage is the tricky part, guys. We all know we're supposed to create a new ICAS application at 8.15 a.m. But if you click on it at 8.15 a.m., it's just going to tell you the same thing it's been telling you, that the application is already filled. So... The thing to do is that, you guys, when it's 20 seconds to 8.15, as you guys can see, 15 seconds to 8.15, 10 seconds to 8.15, and then there's also 5 seconds to 8.15, and then lastly, 815 itself these five times are very important because that's why we have five tabs so you go back to the tabs and you click on the eca at each of these times that we just talked about 20 seconds to 815 50 seconds to 815 um 10 seconds to 815 5 seconds to 815 and then 815 on the dot itself because that's the only way it would work follow this method and click on eca at the times that i previously mentioned exactly those times and then you'll be able to create your application like i was able to out of the five tabs three opened you can see guys three opened i was able to create three new applications and then i filled in details for one and i submitted just that one so just use that method guys pay attention to those times and click on each of the tabs at those times and you'll be fine 
second common problem is that by the time you finish filling in your application, when it gets to time to make payment, it will tell you this, that the ICAR's daily limit has also been met again. So you go back, so you wait till the next day and you follow the time method again. That's all you do, guys. Like, it's, all, it's quite straightforward. Once you've already scaled through that prison application stage, you just go through that process again the next day. And instead of going to creating application the next day, you go to complete draft application or make online payment. That's what you're going to click on. And when you click on that, then you'll be able to see the application that you filled in, that you want to submit. And you click on that application when you click on the application it's going to take you to the next stage which is make online payment let me click guys yes you're going to see this make online payment stage that so you just create open as you guys can see i also have five tabs open here you get to payment on each of those five tabs the next day and then you click on preview and verify your application so it can show you the submit button I don't know why the submit button, why the screen recording app did not capture the submit button, but it's below this page, guys. So when you do that, just follow the time method again and click on submit at this particular times. And then when you do that, guys, don't worry, just relax. You'll be able to make your payments. Don't worry. That's it. Final. Congratulations. Well done. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. <laughs> thank you. I love you. Thank you.